Okay, so we're going to use Sketch to create some views or a view of an iOS application, a design, and then we are going to export it in a file that we can share with other people for comment or whatever the case may be. So the first thing we need to do is create a new sketch file. So I'm just going to go new document. And on here, as you can see, there are currently no artboards or anything at all. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to insert and I'm going to select artboard. And if you look on the right hand side here, we have this drop down with a list of different options. And I want the Apple devices. And for this one, we're going to make it for the iPhone 8. And so here's our new empty iPhone 8 artboard. And the first thing we need to start doing is adding some, some of the controls that we expect to see. So in the old versions, this was a lot harder to do. And in the new, newer versions of Sketch, they've made this a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we've got the artboard. I'm going to go insert, come down to here and choose iOS UI design. And the first thing I want to do is add that standard iPhone status bar at the top. So I'm going to go to bars, I'm going to go to status and I'm going to go to black. And when I click on there, I can now drag around the status bar and place it where I want it. So I'm going to click and drag and I'm just going to snap it into place at the top there. Now for this application, I think we're going to use a tab bar. So again, I'm going to go insert iOS UI design, come down to here and we're going to go bars. And this time we want a tab bar and I just want one with three items. And I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to click and drop it and then click and drag it to snap it into place. And let's go ahead and change some of these options. So on the right hand side, you can see I've got each of the three items here and I can override the label names. So let's call this one uh, news. We're going to call the second one. Let's call the second one schedule. And for the third one, let's just call it purchase just for the sake of argument on here. So now we've got our tab bar with the three options. Let's go ahead and add some more controls. This time, I think, let's have a look. Let's add a table cell. How about that? So we want cells and we're going to go down to table and we just want a straightforward standard table cell. So again, I'll just drop that in place and now click and drag to snap it into place. And I'm going to make a couple more. So I'm just going to copy with control C and paste with control V. And I'm just going to stack these on top of each other here like this, just snapping each one into place. So we've now got five table cells and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some buttons. So I'm going to go down here to the miscellaneous. I'm going to look for the big button and now I'm going to drag that in and just drop that there. And I think we're going to have it in the middle at the bottom here. So I'm going to put it there and I'm going to change the label over here and I'm going to call it, uh, let's call it edit and let's create another button. And I'm just going to again, copy and paste. And I'm just going to snap it into position there. And I'm going to call this one add. Obviously, for the sake of this example, it doesn't really matter what the buttons are. They're not actually going to do anything in this design right now. So here's a basic layout. Now, something that often catches people out is when they come to save this file, they realize that there's no background to it. And I'm going to demonstrate that now and show you. So I'm going to select this artboard. And notice over here on the right hand side, it says background color, but it's unchecked, right? So if I go to export it, and if I go up and say export, I've only got one artboard, so it's going to select that artboard, this iPhone 8 one for me. And I'm actually going to go cancel because I want to show you, if you look over here on the right hand side, you can see this checkered background indicating transparency. So if I export this right now, there won't be any background to the image. It won't be a full design display. And I'm, what I'll do is I'll demonstrate the problem that causes, and I'll also show you how to fix that. So let's go ahead and just export this one. I'm going to export it to my desktop, and I'm just going to call it iPhone 8. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this file. Here it is here. If I hit space to do a quick preview, you can see there's all this transparency in the background because there's no design there. And obviously that's not the goal that we're going for. So let's go back to sketch 
And this time I'm going to check this and I'm going to say, okay, I want a background of white and I want to include that in the export. So if you look here on the preview now, you can see that we've got a full solid background. So let's go ahead and export again. And I'm going to give this one a different file name. I'm just going to call this B and let's hide sketch. And now let's bring this file down here so you can see it. And now when we look at it, you can see we have the full design with the white background by comparison to the original one where the background was missing. It's a common mistake and it's easily overlooked. And so just be aware of that. And there is our exported design, very basic design from Sketch ready to share our iOS design. So I hope this has been helpful. This is just a sort of basic 101 getting started with Sketch. And in the future, we'll be covering more complicated topics and really getting into the nitty gritty of, of making some designs in Sketch beyond these basic controls and quick layouts.